Four Americans are right now circling the Earth in a space flight like we have never seen before. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with more on this historic, incredible trip, Dick. Incredible indeed it is. Fewer than 600 people have ever been in orbit, most of them astronauts representing a handful of countries until now. This trip is not like the ones done by Richard Branson and Jeff Bezos, which barely touch space. Inspiration for the capsule will orbit the Earth and will be controlled by SpaceX engineers on the ground. They're riding high, floating on air, but this is not your normal space flight. No astronauts here, just plain folks. Of course, that does include a high school dropout turned billionaire who's footing the bill. The door's opening now, and it's pretty incredible. Jared Isaacman charted the flight for an estimated $200 million, where they have panoramic views from a cupola window in the space capsule. Civilians have flown in space before, but there's never been an entirely civilian crew on a privately funded, non-government mission to orbit. And what a ride it is. Inspiration4 is now circling the globe 360 miles above the Earth, higher than the International Space Station, higher than the Hubble Telescope, higher than any human since 2009. On board with Isaacman, data engineer Chris Sombrowski, college professor Cyan Proctor, and physician's assistant Haley Arsenault from St. Jude's Children's Hospital, where she was treated as a child for cancer. I definitely am excited to represent those that aren't physically perfect. I want to bring this experience back and share with, with everyone I encounter. The crew will also conduct scientific experiments and research. They'll collect biomedical data and biological samples, including ultrasound scans during and after the flight. We want to provide great data, and we're really excited to be part of this. SpaceX has a long-term goal of sending people to Mars, but for now, people like Jared Isaacman want to show that he can turn the average Joe into George Jetson, if only for a few days. It is the opening of a new era in the sense that you don't have to have that level of expertise to simply go to space. Now, the flight also can act as a fundraiser for St. Jude's. When they return, the crew will auction off items that they took into space, and a lot of people might want to have something from space. Yeah, that would be true. A nice little trinket, right? <laughs> yeah. But it's important to point out that the folks on the ground are operating this whole thing. However, the crew has been trained in the event of a problem. In fact, Cyan Proctor, who said she will be the first African-American pilot of a plane, she wasn't kidding, of a crew, because she has been trained to fly it if necessary. So they all had the training that normal NASA astronauts had. But yes, almost certainly SpaceX will be doing all the work for them. Dick, do we know, I don't know if you know the answer to this question, but can they get up and move around? It appears that they have been, but I can't be 100% mm -hmm. certain on that. Looks a little tight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can you say claustrophobia? Yeah, you're not jogging around that place, no, that's for sure. Yeah. No, very cool. So how do they top this? After you take this kind of trip, what do you do next? Well, ultimately, the goal, and obviously this is probably decades in the making, but SpaceX wants to be able to go to Mars. Sure. And they think they'll be able to do it. We'll see. All right. Okay. Thank you, Dick.